All right, uh, welcome to session 9B of the program Making Your Funnel Work. We're going to talk about Facebook and Instagram advertising. Um, what we're going to discuss Facebook stats, business manager, custom audiences, conversion tracking, ad positions, campaign goals, targeting options, uh, A B testing, um, Instagram ad positions, and uh, Instagram targeting. Um, well, some I have a lot of Facebook stats, but we start with the with the with the text one. Uh, an average Facebook user clicks on uh, an average of eleven ads per month. A woman click on more ads than men, fourteen respectively, ten. Um, Ninety-four percent of Facebook advertising revenue comes from mobile uh, devices. Facebook earns about forty percent of any annual digital display advertising revenue globally. Uh, and 87% of US marketers will use Facebook marketing in uh, the present year. So what are the uh, average cost per clicks? Um, depending on uh, the type of um, advertisement uh, you, you're, you're, you're conducting. Um, and you see that uh, the if you uh, if your goal is traffic to your website, um, then your lowest CPC rate is for a link click campaign. Of course, Google uh, or Facebook optimizes for that reach. Um, and with other uh, types of uh, 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 campaign goals, uh, you get higher CPCs. Um, it sounds a bit, uh, or it is a bit counterintuitive, um, but it has to do, of course, uh, that Facebook knows which users click on what kind of ads, and uh, users that don't click at all in general on ads, they can engage those persons uh, with impression or reach, reach advertising. Uh, advertisement. Well, if they have a customer who wants a conversion or a, a click campaign, or that's the main goal of the campaign, then they have to show it to audiences that do click. So that's the main reason why. Um, then by vertical, uh, in this uh, webinar, I will discuss some uh, fashion examples, but uh, you will see on the right there are other verticals mentioned also. Um, but on the left green uh, is apparel and um, the fourth of the left green uh, or greenish is beauty. Um, something that are the most uh, uh, close to uh, the fashion industry. And uh, well, you see beauty has a, a much higher uh, CPC than uh, apparel. Apparel. Um, so it's interesting to uh, to see, see the differences per vertical. Um, click through rates per vertical again uh, on the upper left uh, uh, apparel industry, and you can take a look for yourself or pause this uh, slide when you want to see other verticals. Uh, conversion rates. And um, the average conversion rate across all industries is 9.2 percent, of 9.21 percent. Um, I'm not sure how these stats are measured. Like, um, are they measured on, the, for example, lead ads? Because, uh, of course, you have to take into consideration the the quality of the landing page of the advertiser. So I think they uh, will have taken into consideration a more, uh, by default, measurement of conversion rates, uh, something like the generation ads or something. Um, but a lot of differences per vertical. Uh, all up is, uh, I believe, the fitness industry with 14.29%, while apparel is quite low on the low end. 4.11 percent and this brings us to cost per action 
on average at 10 point, uh, 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 almost $11 for apparel. Um, and for education, uh, close to eight um, US dollars, but a lot of differences about technology, SaaS and uh, other kinds of stuff, uh, 55 US dollars. So large differences per vertical. You have to take in consideration that other verticals have uh, like apparel, mostly will have, uh, if it's not a branding campaign, but a conversion campaign, like selling fashion, um, that's a conversion goal. If, the, if there's branding there, it has an, another uh, dynamic in it. And also the, the customer journey for, for example, a B2B software is quite long, say uh, from two weeks to three months or something. Um, well, retail will will be have a one or two session uh, feedback loop. So, I'll take it. Uh, please take it all in consideration when looking into this data. Facebook Business Manager is the place where all your account assets come together. Besides the daily task of managing your community and content, reasons to use Facebook Business, business Manager: a clear separation between work and private accounts, overview of all your accounts assets across Facebook and Instagram. Easily integrate with partners and apps, implement the customer audience pixel, user managers, user management, security, advertising while we're here today. Uh, but that's the elephant in the room. What kind of Facebook custom audience are there? First, Facebook custom audiences are overall ways to connect with audiences who, who you already have some sort of connection with. Um, Website visitors, uh, you can track them by implementing a Facebook pixel. Uh, is a way, a list of uh, telephone numbers of your customers or email addresses. Uh, so you can upload the CSV. Uh, app users um, and faces, uh, Facebook users who engage with your content in one or the other way. Um, GDPR wise, you need an explicit opt in from the user uh, for the usage of the uh, Facebook customer audience pixel. And the easiest way to implement uh, the pixel is through Google Tag Manager if you have a website. Well, what can you do with these uh, custom audiences? Of course, uh, uh, if you're tracking your website traffic uh, uh, audiences, uh, you can create lookalike audience based on your website audience or a part of your website audiences like uh, if 5% of your visitors are converting uh, to a specific goal, like a sale or a lead form, uh, then you can uh, check that 5% and uh, try to find uh, lookalike audiences on uh, Facebook with the pixel. Um, build specific audiences of people who visit uh, parts of your website and then retarget them, of course, card abandonment, uh, people who haven't returned for, uh, say, uh, 30 days or something. Uh, for app uh, reasons, you can um, track recently purchased uh, uh, subscription in, in, in the, through the app stores. Uh, use your app but haven't returned recently. It's, of course, very important uh, with uh, retention activities uh, or who have recently opened your app. And... Uh, Engagement custom audiences with people who viewed or liked or did something with your Instagram uh, 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 posts, videos, events, uh, forms, interactions, lead forms, etc., uh, or with your Canvas uh, full screen experiences. A list, of course, you can upload any list uh, you like, slash you have permission to uh, use, um, but it can be a part of your list of your of your customer base. Uh, it can be a list of prospects. It can be a list of uh, customers who haven't, um, who, have you, who you have no email address of, but only a telephone number, and you want to collect their email address because uh, you know it's a cheaper channel, digital than your offline uh, conversion. So all kinds of reasons, uh, all kinds of lists you can upload through the list uh, channel. With this Facebook uh, custom audience pixel, uh, you can alter that pixel and you can also uh, track other things within your app or your website. 
Um, think about a, a whole list of standard events. Uh, you can create custom events uh, and um, custom conversions. And uh, you have to consider this in the same way as you uh, consider event tracking with, um, with Google Analytics. Um, I will zoom in here just a sec. So these are the standard events that you can configure in your uh, pixel. Um, payment info, add to cart, add to wish list, uh, all kinds of actions that people do on your website or app. Of course, you have to implement um, these events, same as with uh, Google Analytics. Um, but once you have, you can uh, engage people again on uh, Facebook. So really interesting, same with conversions. Uh, if you want to uh, optimize for certain conversions, if it's a lead form on your own website or a, a sale or a, uh, whatever the goal is or a trial, um, you can easily track and optimize it, uh, your advertisements for uh, the, those custom conversions. So what kind of campaigns can you run on uh, Facebook and when should you um, use them? Well, Tough, Moth and Buff is uh, top of funnel branding and awareness inspiration, middle of the funnel, funnel engagement consideration, and bottom of the funnel is a conversion or trial. Um, sale. And um, the subcategories you see here are the same as you will see uh, when, you're, uh, when you uh, create a, a Facebook ad, brand awareness, uh, reach, uh, traffic, engagement, video views, messages, lead generation, app installs, conversions, conversions, catalog sales, uh, store visits. Um, yeah, of course, the, the, the their names uh, of the goals speak for themselves. So what will be your goals or your KPIs? Uh, well, Reach or impressions for the top of the funnel landing page views. Link clicks uh, could be a goal. Uh, daily unique reach, post engagement, um, video view milestones like uh, how many uh, people uh, saw my a video of two minutes of four until 75% or something. Um, well, in the middle of the funnel, uh, message replies, leads, conversions, and of course, on the bottom of the funnel, conversions or uh, yeah, in the middle of the funnel, bottle of funnel, app installs. How does this look from an other perspective? Um, well, on the left, we see Google, but we uh, focus also on the right. Uh, awareness, consideration, conversion, and of course, um, creating uh, uh, retention and advocacy. Um, You can see a lookalike audience, view ads, website traffic, mobile app installs, lead ads, etc. Store visits for offline conversions and dynamic ads. Uh, you can both both use them for retargeting as uh, upsell and cross sell, like uh, suggested here. Well, what kind of ad types? Uh, I'm going to go into uh, this a little bit deeper carousel uh, and the slideshow. Um, well, the slideshow is image only and, and uh, an automatic um, uh, swipe. Uh, the carousel is uh, manually and video only. Um, single image, single video, and a full screen experience. In the past, the, uh, the name was uh, uh, Canvas Ads. Uh, and they have now, I believe, in screen uh, advertisements. Um, or instant uh, advertisements. Um, what 
what interesting is is for the for the app owners is the playables um, ad format really uh, uh, worthwhile testing. Uh, and I think uh, the collection ad, uh, I don't have a lot of experience with this version uh, yet, but it's it's quite immersive. And uh, I want to take a look at this page with you. Because it are full screen, really branded experiences. And uh, Let's see. Can I change the language setting here? But um, direct form, of course, this is our lead form uh, ads. Uh, but direct stories is really nice. So, in in the in the direct lookbook, you can uh, add the user uh, photos uh, within uh, the ads. So this can be interesting. So it's really worthwhile to look into this. Then, of course, uh, how these items look on uh, Instagram. Story ads, photo ads, uh, video ads. So, so they offer a lot of uh, possibilities to, to uh, Engage more, uh, more in, in immersive. I think that's the that's the right word I want to use. Um, of course, you have uh, messenger ads. It's more for uh, for direct response uh, in uh, creating in a, in a conversation uh, with your prospects. Uh, and you can have a little bit of a chatbot that uh, interface interaction with uh, with uh, uh, your audiences. Leads ads, I have those used a lot. I have really really good experiences uh, with them. Um, high conversion rates. Uh, you can uh, best on fruit to your uh, uh, CRM through Zapier or other uh, integration tools. Um, Dynamic ads, of course, uh, for your e-commerce uh, product feed um, and the Canvas instant experience. Full screen, very visual uh, advertisements uh, that both can be uh, really good for your branding as, and, and uh, conversion rates. Offer ads is for more for coupon redemption, originally, of course, uh, for uh, driving. Um, Offline traffic, um, uh, but also uh, just send them an email uh, with the unique coupon. Uh, so definitely uh, something if you're a, a conversion ba have a conversion based uh, advertisement strategy, something to try. Local awareness ads, you can uh, send people to uh, locations of your shop or your uh, chain stores or you can uh, get them to call, whatever you, the best uh, converting channel uh, is for your business. Uh, but no, not uh, specifically uh, online conversions, other channels. Facebook events that if you create an event, if it's a webinar or a, a, a real life event, uh, you can promote it with a specific advertising format uh, and you have all kinds of faces who uh, viewed uh, the event, uh, attended the event, but didn't show up, and all kinds of faces that you can target. So it can be really interesting. 
Facebook placements and other uh, uh, say important um, way to optimize your the performance of your uh, Facebook budget. By default, all channels are uh, activated. Uh, by choice, you can choose, of course, by Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, or the audience network. Uh, devices, uh, special uh, devices, uh, uh, not uh, uh, iPhone or Android. Uh, Wi-Fi connections, uh, and you can uh, exclude uh, skippable ads so that your uh, your video advertisements always will be shown. If you add, is that your uh, advertisement um, creative? And by default, these are all the outlets, touch points where your ad will appear in the feeds of the Facebook assets, stories, in stream, um, search results, uh, messenger, in article, and on apps and other websites. Um, I think you should be uh, okay, quite selective where your ad appears and how it looks. Um, also with the context and what what kind what what is the goal of your campaign. Um, Like Facebook Marketplace, I'm not sure if that's a, that's a channel uh, I would prefer for 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 branded um, branded content. Well, if you're, for example, in a secondhand fashion, that could be uh, for uh, one of your best um, converting places. Be um, so it's interesting to 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 look at what this is doing. Same with the audience network. Uh, is it uh, approving my, the, my campaign, campaign performance or um, lowering my campaign performance? But um, and you can imagine that uh, advertisements on Facebook Messenger need another kind of interaction than um, in, the, in, the, in the Facebook news feeds, for example. Then you can optimize for specific metrics. Um, this was uh, the, the, the screen from, uh, from a, a, a link click campaign. These were the options uh, you get then, landing page views, link clicks, impressions, or daily unique reach. Uh, so you have to optimize it uh, before, um, depending on what your goal is. And impressions is something I will be careful uh, with. Uh, link clicks or uh, unique reach, of course, is more uh, more concrete. Uh, daily unique reach is not unique reach in a, in a week, so you can have several ad views in a week um, for the same audience. So be careful. Um, then the Facebook targeting options, uh, where you can uh, both you can include or exclude all the options that are uh, mentioned below. Of course, the custom audiences you can also exclude your customers or your website visitors. That's especially important for uh, for uh, for pricing strategies. Uh, um, so uh, it's interesting if you want to show certain offers to certain groups or not. Uh, demographics, of course, uh, age, gender, and some other details. Uh, location, country, states, provinces, city, towns, zip codes, and radius targeting. Uh, languages, relationship uh, to your business. By the way, uh, I'm not sure. You have to check, but uh, what languages, I think, is what their default um, Facebook setting language is. Well, 
uh, languages with Google Ads, for example, uh, how their uh, account or their browser, if they use Chrome, is configured. Um, but I'm sure for Facebook, it will be their account settings. Um, if they have a relationship to your business, are they fans uh, or friends of fans? But you can also exclude your fans or your friends of fans. App usage, use of your app, uh, friends of, uh, uh, of app users, events, uh, interests. We're going to uh, take a look at that. Uh, education level, uh, university, bachelor, uh, high school, etc. Uh, relationships that are single, married, engaged, uh, divorced, whatever. Uh, job function is really interesting for, of course, for B2B targeting, entrepreneurs, uh, CMOs, uh, but also uh, uh, more general, uh, and uh, behaviors they have conducted online, like online purchases, what kind of device, other digital activities like uh, sharing, etc. cetera. Um, it's interesting enough to take a deep look at it. So here we are. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll go from the bottom up. Um, you can also target Facebook page admins, and it can be interesting. Um, Digital activities, community club page, uh, business page, admins, uh, retail page, uh, internet browser used, average engagement, uh, mobile device users, you see all kinds of uh, uh, devices. Um, soccer uh, in depth, university, uh, univer, univer, anniversaries. Uh, Lookalike audiences, events, people who, are, who responded going, responded going, responded interested, have visited, have engaged, purchased to get all this. So these are, so if you're looking for poop, people who are uh, targeting uh, people who have to uh, pay for your event ticket, well, you can make two kinds of groups. Of course, uh, the people who you think are your audience in general, like uh, if it's a concert, uh, of a certain pop group, uh, the H, H record of the pop group, um, and you make a copy of that uh, event and target specifically people who have uh, bought tickets and you exclude out in your other ads so you can see the difference in uh, what does it matter in my ad performance and which percent of total sales come from which ad. Um, app activities are interesting. Anyone who opened the app, users by segment include uh, most active users, users by purchase amount exclude. So, um, and concerning your own Facebook way, Anyone who visits your page who engaged with, uh, it's your Facebook page, so not your website page. Visit who engaged with any post or ad, people clicked on any call to action button, people who sent a message to your page, uh, page, people who saved your page or any post. So customer profile, website traffic, food, drink, shopping, fashion, of course, really interesting. I think uh, it's interesting if you are working in fashion to take a look at those uh, uh, segments and maybe split advertising them because coupons and discounts is really people hunting for uh, for bargains. So dresses. Um, so you can build your audience 
on all of that or split test uh, uh, the audience and see what works better. For B2B, mostly uh, job function, education level, uh, besides general things like uh, demographics and location, of course, will be uh, the most important um, uh, indicator that there will be, or uh, like target a group of people who like the, 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 the top, say 50 universities in the United States for if you're targeting the United States like Harvard, Yale, uh, etc. That's about it for today. Um, next Monday, 